Okay, so you want to install, upgrade, or whatever RAM out of a, a laptop and notebook computer. So here's one I've got here. Now I'm just removing the last two screws. You need to use, in this case, a, a Phillips head, and it has to have nice sharp edges. And when you're removing the screw, you want to put a, a reasonable amount of pressure on the top, pushing the thing down so that it bites into the side of the screw head before you twist it. Once it's started, you can release the, the downward pressure. All right, so that pulls that one out. These are, this screwdriver is magnetized, so it holds the screw. It's only these two screws. That I've, the actual flap that, I'm, that you can't see that's out of shot um, is uh, damn large, which you'll see in a second, perhaps. Now, um, the last step is once the screws are all out, there's still some plastic tabs underneath it, so I've got a little tabs sort of all over the place uh, and that's where it's hinged from so it's a hinging process um, that's looking at the uh, at the CPU but the RAM is over here it's the bit we're, we're interested in um, if you look on here here's a different screwdriver if you look over here, you'll see I've got two RAM modules, one stacked on top of each other. Uh, and this is a SODIN, Small Outline Dual Inline Memory Module, that's what it stands for. Um, and there are clips either side. Right, so you can... And that, you notice that raises a little bit, and as I do that, it pops up. Theoretically, it's supposed to do both at the same time, but... Alright, so now it's a matter of, now that that's up, you'll, you can pull it out and you'll notice that it's, it's got a, a keyed area, this point here, and if you look very carefully at the socket, you'll see there's a little dimple that marries up there, so orientating uh, is important because you won't be able to push it in. The, the other important, I mean, the same procedure for the, for the lower one, but I'm not going to do it because it's not worth the hassle. Um, when that goes back into the socket, it goes in at an angle, and you've got to make sure you push it all the way home, otherwise those gold contacts, they don't go in far enough, and even if it's not pushed all the way home, you can actually force it to clip down with, a, with an incomplete connection, and, and when you do that, you're going to get memory problems. So you make sure you push it in all the way home at, at that angle, and then clip it down, and that's pretty much all you need to do. Oh, the other obvious thing is you need to be you know, uh, protected by static. So you can either use a static track, a strap, or use some sort of conductive table. In this case, I'm using actually a computer lid here made out of metal, which is grounded. So uh, as I'm working on it, I've constantly got one hand on the table, keeping myself grounded. Uh, or at least if I haven't got both hands, at least one hand, I'm only keeping both hands off for a very short period of time, and I'm not, not scuffing my feet on the floor, not doing anything to build up static. Static will kill these things shorter than, well, real quick.